Hey guys, my name is John Hamilton and today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up Blender for game development. So let's get into it and let's learn how to do it. Alright, so the first thing you want to do when setting Blender up for game development is to come up here and switch this to Blender game. And what you'll see is over here a bunch of settings have changed. So what this has done is it's just enabled all the game options and hid all the options which really aren't relevant to Blender game. So as you can see we've got all this stuff and also over here the physics panel has changed. Now by default if you go into textured mode here what you see is we have a sort of kind of lighting. It's sort of lighting but not really. So as you can see, when we scale this up, weird stuff is happening with the lighting. And that is because we are in multi-textured, and the shading here, multi-textured. Now, what you're going to want to do, and this is not supported in all computers, but most computers, is you want to go OpenGL shading language right here, this OpenGL, and you want to switch to that. So what this is going to allow you to do is have, be able to do, much more advanced stuff using nodes and shaders and stuff like that for your texturing and level stuff. So if you click on that, what you see is it has become a lot nicer. As you can see, we have some specularity here. The light actually works and it kind of moves, it, it works correctly. And this allows you to have shadows and lots of other things. All right. So the last thing you want to set up so that Blender will be perfectly ready for game development is to change the screen layout. Now you can make a custom one but I just like to use the default one because it's laid out very well. So you're going to come down here and you're going to change this to game logic. And what this is going to allow you to have is to have your logic bricks down here, your scene um, tree over here so you can see the layout of all of your objects and all what they're pairing to and so forth. Over here you have your text editor and you also have your little panel over here, the properties panel. So as you can see you can access all the physics and everything from here and this allows you to have a very good setup for when you're making games. So yeah. If you have any questions about this tutorial, comment them down below and you can also subscribe to get updated every single week when I come out with a new tutorial. So see you next week and keep learning.